you understand you've been read your rights and you're here voluntarily. Would you tell me how it is you were at the Chinatown Express tonight and called 911? Of course, I'm happy to. It began early in the day. I was watering my plant and I looked out my window at my apartment, the one you visited, and I saw a dark coloured car with two men parked across the street. I didn't think much about it, otherwise I would have reported it then. We began our night, my employee and, and myself, and around approximately 12, 12.38, I looked in the rear view mirror and saw that they were being followed by what looked to be the same men in the same car. I made an evasive manoeuvre, circled back and tailed them to the Wendy's, at which time I witnessed them go inside and I recognised them as the man from the home invasion. You told me you didn't see the men that you didn't get a good look at them? Well, it came back to me when I saw them going in, their shapes and their movements. Then I saw one of them had a gun under his shirt. And so, of course, I immediately got, him, got my phone and I called 911. That's your story? That's what happened. That's why I'm here talking to you. I think they tracked me down after seeing my footage. I think you withheld information. I think you saw the two men at the murder house in Granada Hills and you saw the car and you sat on it to start something you could film. What do you think about that? I think that would be very unprofessional for someone to do that in my business. It would be murder. I can understand why you're looking into it, but I didn't do anything like that. Nothing that could be considered wrong. You don't fool me for a minute. I'm glad. I think everything you've said is a lie. You filmed him dying. That's what I do. It's my job. I like to say that if you're seeing me, you're having the worst day of your life. 